Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic in microbiology that is types of hypersensitivity. So hypersensitivity which refers to undesirable reaction which is produced by the normal immune system which includes allergies and autoimmunity. So autoimmunity is nothing but the our own antibodies is uh, failed to recognize the antigen that is antigen is something which comes from outside it fails to recognize the antigen and it acting against our own cells which are the cells which these antibodies are supposed to protect so those are the uh, auto immunity reactions and uh, these reactions may be damaging uncomfortable or maybe occasionally it could be very fatal now let's see the types and the details of hypersensitivity. So hypersensitivity, we have uh, four classification. Type one is immediate uh, type or anaphylactic or atopic. Type two is antibody dependent. Type three is immune complex. Type 4 is cell mediated or delayed type of hypersensitivity. Now we'll begin with the type 1. So type 1 hypersensitivity is also known as immediate or anaphylactic hypersensitivity. So the reaction may involve skin urticaria and eczema. So conjunctivitis can, can be seen in eyes, uh, rhinitis, uh, rhinorrhea in nasopharynx and uh, it can also lead to bronchopulmonary tissues uh, that like uh, asthma reactions and gastroenteritis in gastrointestinal tract so these are the immediate reactions so all are immediate outcome of this antigen attack and this hypersensitivity so the reaction may cause a range of symptoms from minor inconvenience to death so maybe the reaction usually takes 15 to 30 minutes from the time of exposure to the antigen and it can have delayed onset of 10 to uh, 12 hours so this is our cell so the foreign particle is known as antigen and we have antibody inside so this is supposed to be protective against the antigen okay and we have our own cell normal cell so sometimes the antibody act against our own cell that is known as autoimmune reaction these antibodies are supposed to protect our cells but sometimes it fails to recognize the antigen and our own cell and it act against our own cell that is known as autoimmune reactions anyway so the immediate type uh, is usually mediated by IgE antibody to those specific antigens so the primary cellular component in this hypersensitivity is the mast cell and basophil and the reaction is amplified or modified by platelets, neutrophils and eosinophils. So mast cells, uh, they get stimulated and release histamines. So that is uh, type 1 reaction. So in type 1, uh, the example is atopic reactions, which is a type of localized anaphylaxis. In these patients, there will be higher levels of IgE antibodies. Now, uh, let's move on to type 2 hypersensitivity which is uh, also known as cytotoxic hypersensitivity and may affect a variety of organs and tissues. So the antigens are normally endogenous, although exogenous chemicals uh, which can attach to cell membrane and also lead to type 2 hypersensitivity. Endogenous means within the cell, not coming from outside. So the most common one is uh, drug-induced uh, hemolytic anemia granulocytopenia and thrombocytopenia 
and also penicillin allergy are also belong to type 2 reaction so the reaction time is minute to hours and is primarily mediated by the antibodies IgG and IgM and also the complement system so phagocytes uh, may also play a role in type 2 reaction so this lesion contains antibody complement and neutrophils in general so the hemolytic uh, thrombocytopenia we know when there is a RH positive baby born to a RH negative mother for first time so there will be antibody acting against um, the baby so that is uh, coming under type 2 uh, hypersensitivity reaction now uh, let's move on to the type 3 which is uh, antigen antibody immune complexes which is IgG mediated and uh, there will be large amount of antigen and antibodies form complexes in blood so if it is not eliminated which can be deposited in capillaries or joints and trigger inflammation so the reaction may be general uh, such as serum sickness uh, or maybe uh, or maybe uh, it involve individual organs including skin such as systemic lupus erythematosus or arthritis reaction kidney uh, such as uh, lupus nephritis or aspergillosis in lungs and rheumatoid arthritis in joints so that is uh, particularly for one organ and if it is a very general that will be uh, serum sickness the rest all are affecting one particular organ and the reaction may be pathogenic mechanism of disease caused by many microorganisms so it takes 3 to 10 hours after the exposure to antigen and it is mediated by soluble immune complexes so they are mostly IgG class although IgM also be involved so the antigen may be exogenous uh, such as bacterial viral or parasitic infections or it could be endogenous and the type 4 is a delayed type which the reaction involves by the sensitized T cells okay T cells there's no antibody involved and the sensitized T cells um, and there is release of lymphokines as mediators and amplifiers so they are mediated by cells rather than antibodies that is a peculiarity of type 4 so mostly the contact dermatitis transplant rejection granuloma all are belong to type 4 category so that response usually comes after 48 to 72 hours so there will be continued macrophage activation which can cause chronic inflammation which results in tissue lesions uh, scarring and uh, also granular formation so that is about uh, uh, the four types of hypersensitivity so let's summarize the points of all four categories so first uh, let's see about the antibody which is involved so type 1 IgE type 2 IgG and IgM type 3 also IgG and also IgM is there but uh, on very little amount so IgG and IgM but very little amount whereas uh, type 4 uh, is basically T cell mediated and there is no antibody involved and the uh, type of antigen in type of uh, type 1 it is exogenous type 2 is cell surface type 3 is soluble antigen and type 4 it is tissues and organs the response time for type 1 it is 15 to 30 minutes type 2 minutes to hours type 3 it could be 3 to 10 hours type 4 is very delayed that is after 2 to 3 days that is 48 to 72 hours so most common appearances are the type 1 is uh, wheel and flare that is wheel and flare type 2 is lysis and necrosis lysis and necrosis in type 2 in type 3 erythema edema and necrosis erythema edema and necrosis whereas type 4 
which is erythema and induration in duration we can see in tubercular test we expect a result after 48 hours if in duration is present we confirm it as tuberculin positive or tuberculosis so that is about the appearance and now the histological part so type 1 we have basophils and eosinophil type 2 we have hmm, antibody and complement this is uh, macrophages and complement neutrophils type 4 we have uh, lymphokines monocytes lymphocytes so the cell involved that is the antibody or the t cell so one two three are basically antibody involved whereas a type 4 is t cell and the examples for all four the type 1 is uh, allergic asthma hay fever Type 2 is erythroblastosis fetalis and uh, thrombocytopenia penicillin allergy. Type 3 is uh, systemic lupus erythematous serum sickness arthritis reaction. Type 4 is uh, tuberculin test granuloma.